OIF is a way to do startups, just as Zen is a way to do Buddhism. Now, I actually live near Eheji, the birthplace of Zen Buddhism in Japan, and I go there quite a bit. And in many respects, OIF is a Japanese method. Now, I'm not Japanese, but it was developed in beautiful Japan, at the heartland of Zen Buddhism. And my entire attempt has been to simplify and to remove kind of the, the pain and the systemic problems facing the startup. You see, the startup is a, is a very, um, I don't know, complicated thing, just as life is. And I think maybe it's complicated because of where it was developed in Silicon Valley. And what I see is a much simpler way, a smoother way, a cleaner way to achieve your goals. And for the last two and a half years, I've been struggling by myself, thinking about this problem of the startup. And in my discovery, what I've discovered is that problem goes a lot deeper than just the method and that ultimately the corporation which is a product of the startup and because the startup is a selfish closed thing the corporation ultimately becomes a selfish closed thing ultimately only interested in the interests of a few stakeholders that are greedy and that greed ultimately leads to all the problems that we have all the institutions in the world are set up to facilitate this greed our politics our banking system. You know, our, even our, our, our government in many respects. And it facilitates the 1% who the Occupy movement is, you know, rising up on. And what's really sad is The tactics of the 1% will be to minimize and to demonize and to use all the weapons at their you know, uh, disposal, like the media, what I call the white noise, to keep this revolution from becoming something real. But there is good news, because I have a solution. My solution is independent of the rich. My solution is independent of the government. My solution is dependent on you. Because if I can get you to really look at this Zen approach to launching selfless corporations that ultimately give back to launching more selfless co corporations we cure the disease the disease in many respects you could think of this like imagining killing the cancer I mean there are all this new technology that the moment that cancer cell starts to grow it gets cured the moment that startup starts to grow and remember 99% fail doing the closed method and I think as much as much as 15 20 30 40 I don't know will succeed using an open method so I'm leaving these videos as a legacy I'm putting everything online 
because I know I'm right. I know my system will work and I know it will change everything. And it's there for you, for anyone, to, um, you know, to explore and do. Now, as long as I am alive, I'm holding this under FoundUp's Corp. The moment I am dead, and you can use this as my will and testament, all of my research, all of my work, I give to the world. I make it open and free and accessible to anyone to use. Now you may be wondering why aren't I doing it now? Well, because like any artist, I have a vision. And I don't trust that vision in anyone else's hands. And I want to see it through, you know, to its fullest. I don't give a crap about money. I live in rural Japan, you know? And FoundUp's Corp is going to invest 80% of its profits back into launching new ideas. And other open corps are mandated, if we launch them in their articles of incorporation, they're mandated based on the employees to invest, not donate. We're not a charity, we invest. You get, they get equity back from that investment into other found ups that become open corps. It's that simple. Eliminating the need of VCs, that's the 1%, or super angels, Dave McClure, you're part of the 1%. And creating this massive, scalable monster of good. Be good. Because I'm sorry, Google, don't be evil just doesn't cut it anymore. And even though I love your products, I have the greatest respect. You know, you, you, your Gmail, if you read in, you know, for the most part, it's 95% perfect. I know I could probably improve it significantly, and I've done some talks on how I would improve it. But ultimately, you're part of that systemic problem, the closed corporation. Now, the perfect Google would be an open Google, and that's why I use the term open Google. Because I want you to imagine a company that anyone can join in the world, no matter who you are, no matter what your social disposition, your background, your social economic you know, disposition, you can join and be part of this open corporation whose entire goal is just to launch more good corporations or be good selfless corporations. And if you could imagine Gmail and Android and everything that they have out there, at one point was an idea in someone's head. It was a startup. Now imagine a world of these ideas under one umbrella, FoundUp's Corp, using this Zen system, right? This simplified system and the tools. And I don't have the money yet to build the tools, but I have the tools. I've got the architecture designs of the tools. Found up mall, play found ups. I could roll them out, you know, with, 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 you know, with $500,000, I could roll out all the tools probably within three to six months. I have the, I've done the hard work. You know, just Google Michael Trout, you'll see I'm pretty prolific. Prolific, is that the right word? All I do is work on found ups. Probably 60, 70 hours a week, I work on found ups. Anyway, my name is Michael Trout and I'm here just stretching my legs and just like when I drive a car, I hate to waste time without putting my thoughts down. I mean, I'm not, I'm dyslexic, so writing is 
very hard for me, so I just figure I'll make videos and maybe one day someone will write a book on my ideas if I can't get mine out.